everyone. It's Monday, October 26th. Welcome back to another week. It's a short one this week, only three days. Let's get it rolling. We kick it off with National Financial Crime Fighter Day. Not all heroes wear capes. This to be the case. Today we honor the Bank Secrecy Act and anti-money laundering profession. These are the people who protect the United States financial industry. They include law enforcement officers and other government personnel. During the 60s and 70s, the drug wars that we had going on created an increase in illegal earnings entering the United States financial system. More people were spending more money with the drugs and the criminal activity and the human trafficking. Congress passed the Bank Secrecy Act in 1970 to create better anti-money laundering efforts and prevent financing of criminal activities. Following the terrorist attacks of September 11 uh, in 2001, the BSA was reinforced. Congress introduced the USA Patriot Act, signed on October 26, this date, in 2001. It cemented the critical role of BSA and AML professionals. Take care of our money. The closer we get to the holiday season, the more important it is to recognize uh, those who are deployed and are putting their life on the line every day for our country. Today is National Day of the Deployed. It honors the United States military personnel deployed around the globe. The des this designation recognizes all the brave military personnel who have been deployed, are sacrificing, or have sacrificed their lives to defend our country. It also acknowledges their families who are separated from them during the deployment and the sacrifices they make in order for their family members to serve our country. If you're a fan of volunteering, today's a day for you. It is National Tennessee Day. Tennessee is the volunteer state. It was admitted as the 16th state to our union. This great state brings with it the Great Smoky Mountains, centers for blues and country music, and a depth of history that surges through art. It's the gateway to the Deep South. Tennessee experienced heavy burdens during the Civil War. As a slaveholding state with many Union sympathizers and Union occupying units, Tennessee was often divided as a country during the war. It was the only state to have a battle or skirmish in every county during the war. The two anchor cities are Memphis and Nashville. They have just tons of talent. They keep drawing more in. Uh, Grand Old Opry, uh, you head down to Elvis's Graceland. He was the king of rock and roll. So many neat things to see and do if you get down to Tennessee. National Mule Day. Don't be one of these guys. No, mules aren't donkeys necessarily. They are an intelligent pack animal uh, that are mistakenly called stubborn quite often. A mule is a hybrid cross between a male donkey and a female horse. As a hybrid, the animal inherits characteristics from both parents. The mule does possess the strength, intelligence, patience, perseverance, endurance, sure-footedness, and even the temper of the donkey. From the horse, the mule inherits beauty, athletic ability, courage, vigor, and speed. Mules appear to be or appear to require less food than a horse of similar size. As a side note, George Washington played a huge role in the development of the mule population in America. He recognized the value of the sturdy animal in agriculture and became the first American breeder of mules. Oh, here's another one of those for you fall-loving pumpkin spice latte freaks out there. It is National Pumpkin Day today. National Pumpkin Day recognizes a favored autumn decoration and food on October 26th. Not only do they make great fall decorations, ask my wife, 
but the pumpkin also completes a variety of tasty recipes. Well, kind of, sort of. Join a pumpkin competition or visit of many fall festivals featuring the beautiful gourds. By now, we are all in the frenzy of pumpkin obsession. We can't wait for that big November holiday for pumpkin pie. I can wait. Let's just go to whipped cream. No siree, we need pumpkin everything. Bars, cookies, coffee, cheesecake, pasta, and oatmeal. Everything. It's just crazy out there. Today is the day we honor that squash that is native to North America. It goes way back in time to 5,500 5, BC. Uh, first seeds found in Mexico. The word pumpkin itself originates from the word pecan, which means large melon in Greek. Great to have the knowledge. I can live without the taste. And once again, you whip cream it up or you're frosting it up. National Pumpkin Day. From what I hear, the only place we're not going to see pumpkin this year is on regular television. It seems like the great pumpkin Charlie Brown has been bought out by Apple TV, and that's the only place you get to see it. It's been a, a regular staple of everyone's diet since the 1960s. It's time to look back in history once again. You know where I like to start. Let's get right back to Revolutionary War times, 1774. The first Minutemen were organized in the U.S. colonies. Grab your guns, grab your hat, you're ready in a minute, get out there and get fighting the Redcoats. 1776, in the 7th grade, we just talked about this in class, on October 26, Ben Franklin departed for France, where he would be on a mission to seek French support for the American Revolution. France agreed, signed a treaty, they were the first country to recognize the colonies as an independent state and we had an ally. Wouldn't be long until the war would come to an end. 1881 was the most famous gunfight of them all. The gunfight at the OK Corral. Wyatt Earp and his men fired on the McClory's and Billy Clanton was killed. The fight for the West and the fight for the lawmen was in place. The lawmen won. 1918, a man by the name of Cecil Chubb, he gives the prehistoric monument known as Stonehenge to the British nation. Stonehenge is a great tourist place. We would love to go look. Still trying to figure out what caused Stonehenge to be created. 1919, President Woodrow Wilson's veto of prohibition enforcement is overridden. Congress said, no, President Wilson, we do want prohibition. We're ending the use of alcohol right now. That created the 18th Amendment with the Volstead Act, making alcohol illegal in the United States of America. Thirty years later, in 1949, President Harry Truman increased the minimum wage all the way up to bum, ba, da, 75 cents. It was 40 cents. He nearly doubled it. Uh, his plan was to try and get workers more money so they'd be able to spend more money and people would have more goods. 1962 is going to drop us back to John F. Kennedy and the Cuban Missile Crisis. If you recall, we started talking about that last week. It was 13 days long, but we're in the middle of it now. On this date, Kennedy warned Russia that the USA will not allow Soviet missiles to remain in Cuba. Nikita Khrushchev, the leader of, of Russia at the time, he sends a note to JFK offering to withdraw his missiles from Cuba if the United States closed its bases in Turkey. Kennedy said, no deal, we're keeping those bases, get your missiles out. In 1972, Edwin Land introduced the first truly instant camera, the Polaroid camera, at an event in Miami, Florida. Shake it like a Polaroid picture. Really, you weren't supposed to shake those pictures. But you took the picture, it developed right in front of your eyes. 1972, Alcatraz Penitentiary became open for people to take tours by the National Park Service. Alcatraz is just about a mile or so off the coast of San Francisco. 
it's home to many uh, cruelties and really shows how the American punishment system wasn't working at the time. And in 1984, the big hit, The Terminator, with Arnold Schwarzenegger, appeared in U.S. movie theaters. I'll be back. October 26, 2001 brought us the beginning of the USA Patriot Act as George W. Bush signed it into law just 45 days after the Twin Tower attacks on 9-11. Now, depending on your point of view, either this made it easier for the government to spy on all citizens as it gave the government the right to learn uh, what you're doing, listen to your conversations more, uh, kind of take away some of your Fourth Amendment right protections, or you felt that it protected the citizenships away from any chance of terrorism. Either way, the Patriot Act went into effect on this date. And two birthdays of note today. First off, we'll start with Hillary Rodham Clinton. Uh, she, the former presidential candidate from 2016, uh, as well as former Secretary of State, former Senator from New York, uh, former First Lady uh, to Bill Clinton, uh, strong female in politics, government, whether you like the person or not. And the other birthday today, Seth MacFarlane, an American animator, television producer, and filmmaker. You guys know his voice from all these great shows you're seeing pop up on the screen right there. Most of them borderline appropriate for you, but you don't care. And he's kind of funny. Seth MacFarlane. Wraps up Monday, October 26th. It also is the last Monday in Anti-Bullying Week. Still doesn't mean the message changes. Be kind to one another. Be kind to yourselves. Kind to your teachers. We've made it to October. That means we got through the first two months of school. We are still here. We're still going strong. Uh, and we will see you for Tuesday. Take care, everyone. Bye.